Hey friends, it's Eric and today we're looking at the brand new Basus and this is the Blade 2 ultra thin battery pack. Super cool. I can't believe how thin this was. I remember the first one that came out. I do want to thank Basus for sending this out to me so I could check it out for you guys. Now they, there's a couple different versions. This is the 65 watt with 1200 milliamp capacity. So it's not the biggest battery in the world, but it definitely is nice and thin. So without further ado, let's check this out. Now from my I remember, They've changed the ports on this, and they've also updated the screen. Um, so let's see what is in here. A bunch of paperwork, warranty card, and here is the Blade 2. Dun, 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 dun. Very cool. Look how thin that is. So cool. So sleek. This is great to put in the bags because it's not going to take up a lot of space. It is wide though, don't get me wrong. And then you have your two USB-C ports. Uh, I can't read this. I'm going to have to get like a, uh, a different camera to read this. But I believe it's a maximum of 5 volts, 6 amps total for both of them. So it's 3 amps on each. And then it's 65 watts. So this is good for laptops tablet and obviously your cell phones and it's only two USB-C ports. I think their previous version had a couple USB-A and then there's a button right here to the right. Let's press that. Cool. Based on user and look it tells you how much battery is left and I'm sure as, as you plug this in it'll tell you how much time is left also. So really cool. We're going to plug this in in just a second. Let's see what else comes with this. You have a USB-C to USB-C wire, and then a nice little carrying bag. Kind of feels like a suede. Very nice to put this in there. So, all right, let me get my laptop out and a couple phones, and we're gonna to connect this. All right, let me get my laptop out and a couple phones, and we're gonna connect this and see how well it does. All right, have my MacBook Pro, which definitely can do, I think, 120 watts as long as you use their adapter and wire, um, the MagSafe wire. So I'm going to have this into MagSafe over here, and we're going to plug this into the Basus, and this thing should do 65 watts because that's the maximum of the battery. Let's see what happens. Boom, bada boom. We are at 45, 47, 57, 58. All right. We're pretty close. And my MacBook is pretty low on battery, too. Less than um, 5%, it looks like. So it should be doing pretty fast charge. So it looks like it's topping out about at the 58 watts, 59 watts, 20 volts, 2.9 amps. So pretty sweet. Let's see what the Basus thing says. It says 30 minutes. It's going to last. And it's at 81%. And again, the same charge, 20 volts, 2.8, 2.9 amps. So still at 59 watts so that's about right I think you get 85% of what they say usually most of the time sometimes you might guess a uh, little surge I'm pretty happy with that 58 59 watts when this it says 65 so really happy with that let's go ahead and connect another device all right got my old iPhone it's completely dead right now so I'm gonna put that over here we're going to plug this in and it should drop quite significantly. Oh, it, little things rebooting. Yep, we're at 19 watts on the computer. So you can see the breakdown of the two ports. So one is at 5.1 volts, 2.2 amps. That's probably the cell phone. And then the other one, whoops, I lost it. And then the other one's 12 volts at 1.5 amps. That's the computer right there. So as you can see, when you plug in the second device, your wattage is going to go down on the second one. 
which is expected. It says it has 46 minutes at this capacity. What's at 9 volts? I think I might have said 5 volts earlier. Um, or maybe it changed at 1.3 amps. And the other one's at 12 volts at 1.5 amps. You can definitely read that small writing with the naked eye. But it definitely is hard for a camera. Um, but I wish it was a little bit bigger to read the voltage and the amperage. If you want, I can switch these really, really quick just so... You can see, so you can see here, CV1, or you can see here, 9 volts, 1.3 amps, 9 volts, 1.4 amps. So really, really close. It's a really cool device. Really love the design of this. Ultra thin. This thing's got to be, hold on, let me get my little tool out. Got my little tool, and we are at... 10.7 millimeters so and as far as charging it up let's see how long this is going to take i am zero percent and i am using a 100 watt charger and uh let's go ahead and 100 watt wire by the way let's go ahead and plug this in all right right about the 58 59 watts i to tell you how long it's going to take to get charged up. 47 minutes. I'm assuming that's what it means. And we're right at 1%. Very cool. Definitely very, very thin. Love the 65 watts. So you can definitely fast charge a lot of your things and even handle things like a MacBook. So definitely check this out. Hope this video was helpful. See you guys on the next one.